Hi, welcome to the Corbin Miles Video Solutions to the 2D Shapes Practice Questions. In this video, I'm going to go through the solutions to the practice questions. But if you do want some extra help on 2D Shapes, if you go to corbinmiles.com forward slash content and go down to video number one, you'll find the video tutorial on 2D Shapes. Alternatively, just scan the QR code. Okay, let's get started. So, question number one. Question number one says, the names of five shapes are given. So we've got these five shapes, pentagon, triangle, hexagon, kite, and rectangle. And we're told that three of them are drawn below. So we've got these three shapes, A, B, and C. And we've been asked to complete these statements. So if we have a look at these statements, shape A is called A. Now if we have a look at shape A, it's got one, two, three, four, five straight sides. So that will be a pentagon. So shape A is a pentagon. Okay, our next one, so shape B is called out. If we have a look at shape B, it's got one, two, three straight sides. So that would be a triangle. And finally, shape C, if we have a look at shape C, you can see that's a rectangle. So in our list, we've got the option rectangle. So shape C is called a rectangle. And that's it. So question number two A. So question number two A says, how many sides does a hexagon have? Now a hexagon has got six sides. And the way I remember how many sides a hexagon has is the word six. So the number six has got the letter X in it. And so does the word hexagon. So it has got six sides. Okay, part B. Part B says draw an octagon. So an octagon is a polygon with eight sides. So it's got eight straight sides. So let's draw a shape with eight straight sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's an octagon. Alternatively, you could draw a regular octagon. So here's a regular octagon. It's an octagon where all the sides are the same length, like so. And that's it. So part A says, how many sides does a hexagon have? Six, and draw an octagon. So that could be any shape with eight straight sides, or you could draw a regular octagon, like so. Okay, question number three. Okay, question number three. So question number three says, below is a list of shapes. So here we've got a list of shapes and their names. So here we've got a pentagon. It's got one, two, three, four, five sides. Next, we've got a triangle. One, two, three. Next, our next shape has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. That's called a heptagon. And finally, we've got an octagon with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight sides. And we've been asked to join them up. So we've got our pentagon. That's that one. Our triangle. Well, that's that one. Our heptagon will go there and our octagon will match up with that one. And that's it. Okay, our next question. So question number four. Question number four says, show in the shape A, B, C, D, E. So here we've got the shape. It's a pentagon because it's got one, two, three, four, five straight sides. And part A says, what is the name of shape A, B, C, D, E? So that's a pentagon. Pentagon because it's got five straight sides. Okay, let's have a look at question 4b. So question 4b says, if we scroll down, it says measure the length of the line AE. So here we've got the line AE. I'm just actually going to get rid of the number 5, just so I don't confuse it with 5 centimetres or anything like that. So we've got this line AE, and we've got to measure the length of it. Now, depending on the size of your printing, it may change your answer here. For instance, I've printed this page on an A4 page, and I've measured it as 9 centimetres. But depending on the printer, it may change slightly. But I'm going to get my ruler here and just measure it. So if I put the ruler up against the line AE, it starts at zero and it goes all the way to nine centimeters. So my answer would be nine centimeters. And that's it, so that answer is nine centimeters. And as I said, that number may change depending on how big that pentagon is whenever you've printed it. Okay, let's have a look at question number five. So question number five, we've got some shapes. We've got a square, a circle, a hexagon, and a parallelogram. And we've been asked which shape is a circle. So if we have a look at these shapes, shape B is a circle. Then part B says, which shape is a hexagon? A hexagon's got six sides, and as you can see from shape C, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides, so that's gonna be shape C. Our next part says, which shape is a square? Well, it's gonna be A. And finally, which shape is a parallelogram, or as I like to think of it, a pushed over rectangle, but it's that shape, that quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel lines. So as you can see, the left side's parallel to the right side, and the top's parallel to the bottom. So this shape D is a parallelogram, so that's gonna be shape D, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number six. So question number six says, circle the shape that has the most sides. So we've got triangle, which has got three sides, a hexagon, which is six sides, a pentagon, which is five sides, and a quadrilateral, which is four sides. So circle the shape that has the most sides, well, it's going to be a hexagon. So a hexagon has got six sides, so I've circled a hexagon. Okay, question number seven. Question number seven says, circle the shape with the least number of sides. So a nonagon has nine sides, a decagon has ten sides, 
a heptagon has seven sides and an octagon has eight sides. So the shape with the least number of sides would be a heptagon. So it's a heptagon. Okay, question number eight. So here we've got some shapes. We've got A, B, C, and D. And we've been asked which shape is not a polygon. So a polygon is a shape with straight sides and straight sides only. So if we have a look at A, that's a polygon. It's a hexagon. It's got six straight sides. Shape B, it's a polygon as well. It's got straight sides. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Of them. So it's a hexagon as well. And it's a polygon because it's got straight sides. Shape C is a quarter circle. And it's not a polygon because it's only got two straight sides. So shape C is not a polygon. And shape D is a polygon because it's got one, two, three, four, five straight sides only. So that's a pentagon and it's therefore a polygon. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, let's have a look at question number nine. So question number nine says, which shape is a regular polygon? So we've got these shapes, A, B, C, and D. And we've been asked which shape is a regular polygon. So a polygon is a shape with straight sides. So B is not a polygon, so that's not going to be your answer. The other three do have straight sides, A, C, and D. And the word regular means that all the sides are the same length and all the angles are the same size within the shape. So we're looking for a polygon where all sides are the same length. So if you look at shape A, that's not going to be a regular polygon because as you can see, this side is shorter than that side. So that's not regular. B is not a polygon. C, the sides aren't the same length. So no, that's not a regular polygon. And D, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. They're all the same size. So that is our regular polygon. That's a regular heptagon. So that means that shape D is our answer. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, a shape is drawn on a centimeter square grid. So this is a centimeter square grid. In other words, each square has got a side length of one centimeter. So that would be one centimeter and that would be one centimeter. And that means the area of each square is one centimeter squared. And part A says, what is the mathematical name of the shape? So if we have a look at this shape and count the number of sides, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. So that means it's an octagon. So it is an octagon. Part B says to draw any lines of symmetry on the shape. So we have a look at our octagon. Now it's not a regular octagon because a regular octagon would have eight lines of symmetry. And this isn't a regular octagon because all the sides aren't the same length. As you can see from the top, the top has got a length of one, two, three centimeters, whereas the left side here has only got a length of one centimeter. So that's not a regular octagon. So let's have a look and see where the lines of symmetry would be. Well, it's got a vertical line of symmetry because it's the same on both sides of that line. And also it's got a horizontal line of symmetry across the middle here. So it's got two lines of symmetry and I've just drawn those on the grid like so. So there's the two lines of symmetry for the octagon. And finally, part C says find the area of the shape. So here we've got our octagon. We need to find its area. And remember, it's a centimeter square grid. So if we just count the number of squares, that will give us our area in centimeters squared. So let's count them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just counting the whole squares to begin with. Nine, 10, and 11. So we've got 11 full squares. So we've got 11 so far. And then if we have a look here, we've got half a square and another half a square. If we put those two together, that would make a whole square. So if we add that onto 11, that would be 12. So 12 and 12. And then here we've got another half square and another half square. If we put those together, that'll be another centimeter squared. So that'd be 13 and 13. So our area would be 13 centimeters squared. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the 2D shape practice questions on Corporate Maths. If you do need any extra help on 2D shapes, if you go into Corporate Maths and go to video one, that video tutorial will help you. But that's it. So I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers.